Alright, for number 10, um, this particular value is the is um, pretty famous. This is the Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number. 6.023 times 10 raised to 23 atoms. Um, yeah. Uh, the only thing that we could that we have to do to convert this to two significant figures uh, well it's already in scientific notation so all we have to do is to remove 2 and 3 since 2 won't make 0 as 1 so 6.0 times 10 raised to 23 atoms that's it easy let's move uh, to the next express the following in scientific notation this time uh, with three significant figures all right, so for number one, 0 0.004, 1, 2, 3. We move the exponent three times to the right, so 4.00 times 10. How many number? 1, 2, 3, negative 3. And then, yeah, there is no unit, so this is the final answer already. Let me verify for a while. 4.00 times 10 raised to negative 3, that's correct. to 63 million one two three four five six uh, seven we'll always uh, if there are two numbers we'll always uh, place it as a point in between we won't place it uh, like this we'll place it like this Although, uh, the answers could still be the same, but, ah, who knows, uh, maybe it's this, maybe this is just a matter of preference, but, yeah, you answer according to the requirements of your teacher or the exam. So, how many zeros? Uh, again, I lo I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven zeros. 6.3 times 7, uh, times 10 raised to 7. Why is it positive 7? As an exponent, uh, we move to the left, not the right. If we move to the right, then the exponent will be negative, negative 7. But that's not the case. Let's move to number 3. 0 0.000000000085. Move uh, the decimal point between 8 and 5. So 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8.5 times 10 raised to uh, negative 11. These answers are getting so weird. But anyways, if you know that uh, what you're doing is right, then regardless of how weird your answer could be, then you're still uh, convinced that you have to take confidence. Uh, okay. For number four, the answer is the given is already in scientific notation. Uh, if we write 17.9, it's still the same technically. And, well, never mind. Uh, again, move the decimal point to in between 1 and 7 since those are the numbers at the very left Seventeen point ninety-three times 10 raised to negative 5 move the decimal point one time to the left so that makes one point uh, because there's a 9 beside up uh, before 7 that makes 1.8 and just add a 0 to make it 3 significant figures and since we move to the left uh, that's positive 1 exponent and we have negative 5 so negative 5 positive 1 1.80 times 10 raised to negative 4 basic integer calculation uh, at this point you have to know 
how to solve uh, involving positive and negative integers. By the way, for number three, I almost forgot uh, our answers. Oh, for both number two and three, uh, you should just add uh, a zero beside to make it three significant figures. Alright, let's double check. Uh, 8.50 Yep We are Definitely Yep uh, There's something wrong with number 4 It's not 1.80 Then 1.1.79 and then times 10 the process uh, involving the exponent is still correct but I'm not sure why we're not we're not allowed to round it off to 1.8 but anyways uh, this is the answer Oops, uh, this is supposed to be negative 4. One point seventy nine times 10 raised to negative 4. Alright, number 5. 1.799 times 10 raised to 11. 1.80. Then raised to eleven. Number five is okay. Uh, let me double check though, just to be safe. I bet you already know how to. Um, convert whatever number it, uh, you have into two or three or up to nine significant figures using your scientific calculator yeah uh, according to the calculator we, this, this is correct is 8.00 in this case how many how many times one two three four five six six zeros to the left so that's 10 raised to six okay number seven continuing this never mind I think we still have time uh, one two three four five six point eight three times ten raised to twelve minus since we moved how many times one two three four five 
5 times to the right, that's minus 5. 6.83 times 10 raised to 7. Yep, correct. Okay, for number 8. to 7. That's the answer for number 10. Uh, finally, let's... This is the final boss for this video. Uh, 1, 2, 3. So, 9.32 times 10. How many times will we move? 1, 2, 3. 3 times, so that's plus 3. 4 plus 3, that makes 7. 9.32 times 10 raised to 7. Two point seventy times ten raised to seven. Nine point thirty two times ten raised to seven. All right, these and these are correct. Uh, just because I I placed uh, a check sign doesn't mean that the others the other answers are um, wrong. They may be wrong, but um, I showed you um, at least in the majority that uh, I showed you the correct way of trying to find the correct answer and yeah next video will be on temperature conversions this will be fun and yeah uh, what else do we have yeah so far that's it peace